seeing <laughs> little frosting into these different problems. Mm -hmm. Just dump it back in there. So <laughs> so we're back. All right, are we back, ladies and gentlemen? We are back at Starbucks, where we are interviewing the USA team curling guys at the Universidad. Can you see it? Oh, okay. they're almost back. in Almaty. Good. Yeah, we're back. Right. Mm -hmm. We are back at uh, Starbucks. We're talking to the Universidad uh, Team USA guys uh, from curling. They are here for the first time in Kazakhstan. They're competing, and tonight you can watch them uh, compete at Almaty Arena at seven o'clock. Uh, they are competing against Sweden. Sweden. Are we on right now, live? Yes. Do we have comments? Can people um, see us, hear us? If you can, please send us a note. Tell us that uh, you are here and uh, let us know what questions you have for the USA team. Uh, they're excited to tell you about their experience uh, and about uh, curling and about their time here in Almaty. So let's start our way around. Uh, first, we want to thank our sponsors here at Starbucks for uh, sponsoring today's Facebook Live. As you see, we're here in the Dosta Plaza Starbucks location. Let's say hi. Uh, this is Yelena and Dima and uh, 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 we got. Here we go, let's introduce the curling team. Wait. Oh. Can you put us here on the table? Uh, the computer with the Wi Fi? How are you doing now? I think that we're back. Mine is still says connection is weak. Yes? It takes a while to get over. Okay, let's just continue. Oh, so it's good. Yeah. Okay, great. Hi, my name is Chris Bond. I live in Seattle, Washington. I play second on this curling team here. Excited to be here in Kazakhstan in uh, the USA. I'm Alex Lechter, I skip of the USA curling team. And I'm from Boston, Massachusetts. I'm really enjoying my time in Kazakhstan. I am Nate Clark, vice of the Carolina team. I'm having a great time in Kazakhstan. Really happy to be here. Hi, I'm Calvin Weber, and I play lead on the Team USA growing team. And I'm coming here from New York City. Almaty's been really beautiful so far, and we've been excited to see more of the city. Okay, so what you see is the wonders of Facebook Live. That means we're figuring this out as it happens. So thanks, everybody, for staying with us. I think that we are back and in good shape now. Uh, Karima, can you uh, tell us some of the comments that we've seen so far? What have you been eating here, guys? So we've, we've been eating uh, mostly at the uh, at the Avenue Village. There's a ton of food and it has a lot of hours, so we can sort of eat whatever we want, but there's, there's great options. There's a lot of beef and chicken. And uh, it's been great so far. It's nice to have sort of an unlimited amount of food when we're competing. Awesome. And as you guys have like food 24 hours a day there, or how does it work? It starts at 6 in the morning and ends at 1 a.m. next night. And there's a, there's a few breaks for, for cleanup and restart. But uh, for the most part, there's a lot of, a lot of hours. Uh, and there's a couple, there's a, a little bit of time that's special for the Carolines to, to finish. Oh, comes in that that's awesome. Can you guys, uh, before we get into questions, tell us a little bit about what curling is? I think a lot of people have seen curling before. Uh, maybe not everybody quite understands the rules. Uh, how would you guys describe curling rules in a nutshell? How do you play? Who wants to take it? Yeah, so Nurbol, for example, he says, Curling is a kind of sport that I don't understand, so please tell three reasons Three reasons. reasons why we should watch curling. <laughs> okay. Try to get there. So curling is an ice sport, and it's two teams of four players each, and each team throws eight rocks per end, and an end is like one round. And in this competition, we each play ten rounds per game. So one reason that you should watch curling is that it's Team USA, and we're hoping to win the gold, so we really want your support. Nate, I'll pass it to you for the second reason. <laughs> 
Uh, second reason is it's exciting. I know it's a little confusing at first, but once you start figuring out the rules and knowing what know what's going on, it's really fun to watch. I three there's there's a lot of strategy. We're, we're making a lot of interesting shots, and, and we get to throw 40 pound stones really really hard, and that's kind of fun to watch. Uh, we got an important question uh, from Sergey Lehman. I think I'm going to let Karima ask that one. Uh, this is a question from Sergey. Oh, I think I've been, been here before, so thank you for your question. Sergey is asking, hey guys, I read that it's more fun to play curling when you're drunk. Is it true? <laughs> so curling when drunk. That's the question. This is Facebook Live, so anything goes. Uh, curling when drunk. What do you think, guys? Chris, would you want to take this yeah, I mean, curling is a very social sport, a lot like golf, so it has both the competitive side and the social side, so like any game can definitely be fun, uh, enjoying some beverages with your friends, as well as playing at a competitive level like we are here, so uh, yeah, as long as you know what you're doing, I mean, you can certainly play uh, both uh, intoxicated and not. <laughs> that is the most diplomatic answer I have heard, <laughs> and the most family-friendly answer to a challenging question, so thank you very much for that, we appreciate it. As do our sponsors today at Starbucks, guys! Uh, can we take a look at the um, beautiful beverage display that we have here in uh, Dostick Plaza in Almaty? What are we looking at here? What do we have to drink today? So what we have? We have cream caramel. Uh huh. So then we have caramel the cold drink actually just during our university in 2017, the banana caramel marshmallow frappuccino. That's actually the university mm -hmm. frappuccino. It's so tasty and so delicious. Doing the smells of banana caramel. All right, guys, let's all grab Pretty a beverage yeah. and have a little cheers uh, to the university on uh, 2017. Let's uh, grab one of these. Cheers. Cheers, guys. Cheers. Still more beer. Cheers. Let's all drink it, and in one word, you gotta say what, you, what your impression is of what you're drinking. Delicious. Delicious. Nice. Very nice. I, I say, I say, warm. Great. Great. Creamy. <laughs> Creamy. Thanks. And uh, I think that when you guys are ready, I'll also be happy to make you guys anything you like from the Starbucks bar. Uh, Wow, Guljan Khyber Geneva says, I love you. We love, love you. So, Guljan, let us know if that's the whole group or if there's one particular curler uh, that you particularly like. Uh, Karima, any other questions that we want to uh, keep going with? Yes, we have a question from Timur. He asked, what team do you expect to be the US in finals? Who's going to go to the finals with USA team? Uh, I'm gonna say Great Britain. I think they have a very strong team, so uh, it'll be interesting to play against these guys. And they don't really get so far. <laughs> I also want to mention that I've been really impressed with the Kazakhstan team. They've played really well through two games, and I think that'll be a tough match when we play them in round nine. Come yeah. watch. So, uh, I have a question for you guys. How did you get into curling? When did you guys start playing curling? Um, what made you interested in curling? And, and how did that lead you to being on the USA team at the University of Iowa? Who wants to take it? So, for me, I started in uh, 2006. I watched curling on TV and thought it was just a very interesting sport. I uh, looked online to see where there was a club and gave it a shot, and as it turned out, I uh, had a knack for it and just kept, uh, kept trying, and eventually led some more opportunities for uh, these guys here. I, I started curling when I was about six years old because my, my parents curled, and so I was always around the club, and my parents were always around curling, and when yeah. I started, I, I couldn't get them out. Yeah, I started curling when I was eight. Uh, my parents joined one of the clubs that had curling and uh, figured I'd give it a try. Ended up being pretty good at it, so I just kept going. And I started curling just over 10 years ago, and I'm originally from Wisconsin, which is in the middle of the United States. And it's similar climate to Almaty, I'd say. And there's a lot of curling, so it was easy to get into it there. And then when I moved to New York, I was closer to these guys and joined their team to play in Almaty. Cool, so um, we're going to take a quick break to order some uh, coffee. Uh, Dima, can we order some coffee for everybody? I think that people might want to make some uh, 
fresh coffee orders. Can we uh, go around? What's, what's your coffee of choice? I'm usually a, a drip coffee drinker, so I like dark roast, but also espresso. In just a second. Two okay, questions. No. Two questions. Let, let's go around and order coffee really quick, and then we'll go back to questions. Oh, because that's your name? Chris. Chris. So we got Chris here. Okay. Okay. Just say like there is a comment, but Lisa says she is in love with uh, a guy with beard, black bear, beard. Alright, that's for Alex. Uh, I'm Chaz, I'm just going to get Americano with milk, please. Yes. Or just cold milk Americano. This is cold milk, Chaz, and uh, let's do the next two orders really quick so we can uh, get back to the questions. What's Alex getting? Yeah. So, you want to say Yeah. The same. Just say, what about, uh, what about your name? What's your name? A. A. Can you just spell it? N. A. T. E. A. And then the last word. A. And the cast is yellow. And then the same. What about three months? Okay. We gotta go real quick to the last order so we can get back to questions. Where are you with the milk or just without? No. What's the answer? Cold milk. Hot milk. Okay. Can I suggest you the coconut milk with a taste of the chocolate syrup? Sure. Okay, thank you. That sounds amazing. Thank you very much to our sponsors at Starbucks once again. They've been awesome and they, they've got, by the way, we should try some of this stuff. This is, uh, the guys, feel free. Meanwhile, Karima, let's go. I think we've got a whole lot of questions and comments. Do you want to uh, go through some of them? Seattle, there's a Starbucks um, basically every uh, every mile, I would say. So 
we have lots at home, um, but this is a really nice Starbucks, uh, well laid out and uh, great treats. A little bit different from what we have at home, but when you get the case of treats over there, we're excited to definitely try some new ones. So we got a question from uh, Dana Bukenova. Did you have a chance to meet other team members? Do you mean other, probably other countries? So do you have a chance to meet other countries? Who do you like? Um, and who is interesting? Who, who's the cool team? Who do you guys hang out with? All that kind of stuff. We have had a chance to meet some other countries. And at the end of the competition, there's a big banquet. And we'll hang out with all the countries and have dinner and drinks um, at some restaurant around the city. And as far as coolest, I don't wanna I don't wanna say who's the coolest because we have to play them and we can't, you know, give them any credibility yet. But so far I like the Canadians pretty much. What do you think? Uh, yeah, the Canadian team is who I've talked to the most. They all seem like cool guys. Uh, I think we're gonna we're gonna play them tomorrow, so Canadians, okay. Who do you guys like? Uh, so I, I've, I've really enjoyed meeting the, the other members of the US, mm -hmm. the US team in, in other sports. We, we got a chance to watch the USA Canada men's hockey game last, last night, which was really fun, and, and hang out with some of the hockey players and some of the skiers. Uh, so that's been a, a really cool experience. Yeah, we're also we're looking forward to uh, the curling banquet. We have our own banquet at the end of the, uh, the event, so it'll be a great opportunity to meet up with other competitors that we maybe didn't get a chance to meet during the course of the week. And also just wanted to say um, all of our volunteers from Kazakhstan have been super friendly and really, really nice. So it's been a great opportunity to meet some people from different cultures and just get a chance to see them. Thank you. Cool. And uh, yeah, we just wanted to echo that the volunteers have been awesome. There's thousands and thousands of Kazakhstani students uh, that are here in Almaty that are volunteering at all of the university out events. They've been super professional. All of them speak great uh, English as well. So kudos to them on, on language learning. And uh, I just want to remind everybody, though, since we mentioned at the beginning of the broadcast, that if you guys are interested in seeing the USA team in action, tonight is the night, right? 7 o'clock, USA, Sweden, in curling action. So where could they, how can they watch that match if they want to see the uh, curling match tonight? Uh, come to the Albany Arena would be the best way. Come cheer us on. We'd love to have some fans in the crowd. Uh, we're also going to try and put it on Facebook Live on our uh, team page. It's Team Lighter. We'll link to it. Yeah, we'll, yeah, we'll try to link to it. We'll try to link to it with the, consulate. With the consulate so uh, people can tune in and watch. So that's right. Tonight, guys, if you want to meet these guys, go to the curly match at Almaty Arena at 7 o'clock. Uh, we got a question. Have you guys tried Shashlik? It's the uh, Kazakhstani meat on a stick. <laughs> We have not uh, tried that yet, but uh, we're certainly looking uh, forward to going to a bazaar or a market, and I, I would assume that might be the best place to try that, but we're definitely open to tips and uh, suggestions other places to go as well. Cool. So um, tell us about each of your states where you're from, if you don't mind. Where are you from in the U.S., and tell us a little about that state. Uh, what's it like? Start right here. We'll go around. So I live in Washington State. It's on the west coast of uh, our adventure. We have mountains. We also have the ocean nearby. Um, so great variety. Um, and the weather is pretty mild. So we do get some snow, but we also get some uh, some more mild winters. A little bit of rain, but not as much as people think, especially in Seattle. So really enjoy living out there. A lot of opportunities to uh, I live in uh, Massachusetts, uh, which is a, a small state in the northeast of, of the USA. One of the things that we, we have done very well in the last few years is that our, our sports teams are very good. And our uh, our American football team is in the Super Bowl next week. So definitely a big thing in Massachusetts right now. I'm from New Hampshire, so it's actually right above Massachusetts. It's another small northeastern state in the U.S. The temperature is actually really similar to here. The winters are, you know, in the 30s or so. Mountains, a little bit of sea coast, very small amount, but we have some. Uh, it's a really nice place to live, really beautiful. And I'm from New York, specifically New York City. So hopefully you know where that is at least. It's beautiful, you should come visit. It's an international city, plenty of tall buildings, and 10 million people. And right now it is 2.30 in the morning. 
So if anybody from New York is watching at 2.30 in the morning, hey guys, hope you're having fun. Good on you for being up at 2.30 a.m. Everybody else, uh, write your questions in the comments. I think we're going to go for another 5 or 10 minutes. So if you guys have questions uh, for the curling team, if you want to give them wishes, uh, if you want to um, tell them anything they need to do while they're in Almaty, uh, make sure that uh, you give them advice. Hey, by the way, Sergey says, good goal by Hartman last night. You guys fought well. Yeah. So, pass the word. Um, Karima, do you have a question from Oljas you want to mention? Um, Wait. Are you single is the question. Let's go around. <laughs> <laughs> That's a good question. Uh, no, currently I am not. I'm sorry. <laughs> Unfortunately, also not single. <laughs> No, unfortunately. <laughs> no. Um, <laughs> a lot of beautiful girls here. I am also safe. not single, so, uh, but uh, we'll, we'll just leave it at that. Um, stay single. <laughs> That's a great question. There is Karima, do you want to maybe tell them something that they should say in the Kazakhstan? Salam Kazakhstan. Salam Kazakhstan. Salam Kazakhstan. Salam Kazakhstan. Salam Kazakhstan. Privet Kazakhstan. Yay! Cool, so how long are you guys in town? When do you leave? We leave uh, on February 9th, so I think in about a week, so a little over a week. We still have lots of time. So um, I got one more question for you, and then we'll go to any others to wrap up. Um, what was the most surprising thing uh, that you've seen or experienced uh, when you came to Kazakhstan? The mountains. I did not expect the city to be surrounded by such huge mountains. I'm really looking forward to going to the Uh-huh. Shibalak? Shibalak? Uh, next week to we'll see them. Catholics don't mind. The mountains are amazing. But it's been cool to just go through the city, see all the sites. Um, what's the name of the Cote Bay? Cote Bay. That was a really awesome experience. It's cool to see everything up there. I've been amazed at how friendly everyone is. Everyone we've been in the village, they've been friendly, and when we went in the city, there were lots and lots of friendly people. We've gotten some photo photo ops with uh, as many people as we can. It's been, it's been great. Uh, I have two others. Uh, the fog in the morning has been pretty impressive, uh, getting up early, and uh, I, some days I haven't even seen the building in front, so it's been, uh, it's been interesting to, to see that. And then, uh, also, the, uh, the unofficial taxi is very interesting for us to, uh, to track down cars on the side of the road. Not quite sure who we'll meet, but everyone's been friendly and taking us where we need to go. So once more, we are uh, with the curling team, the uh, USA team curling team that's competing at US, uh, with the USA team at Universiade 2017. You can see them tonight play against Sweden at 7 o'clock, and we hope that you guys root and cheer for the USA team curling squad all throughout the Universiade games. Um, Karima, I think that we had a couple more that you wanted to uh, mention. We got a couple hi of hellos. Moscow. Raya says hi. Dimitri from... Uh, Moscow says hi from Moscow. Um, you know, I think Raya has an interesting comment. She says, You guys don't look like students, you look like a bunch of big dudes. Right? So, uh, are you guys actually students, or are you guys like really some 35 year old dudes or something that are here playing? On? We are students older, a little bit older than sort of the average age, but we take the classes and we can sort of cooperating with the other people to be here. In general, the curling is a little bit older than the average age. Right, sure. Okay, cool. And we got uh, another hello from Annapolis. So we've got people like really that are on this Facebook Live from all over the country. We got Annapolis, we got Moscow, <laughs> all over the place. So it's really exciting. I think that we'll probably look to start wrapping it up. Uh, if we can get our friends from Starbucks again, just in the back, if you guys want to say hello and 
We want to thank you guys for hosting us. Maybe you can around a little bit. Thanks, guys. You guys have been super host. Thank you for all of the delicious seats and everything. Thank you for the uh, Almaty apples. Thank you guys for the coffee. And um, maybe we'll just go around one more time. Any last um, wishes for any thank yous for Kazakhstan for hosting? Yeah, just thanks. We've really enjoyed the event so far. We're looking forward to definitely exploring more and uh, meeting more people. Yeah, I just again want to thank all the volunteers at the event. It's amazing how, how many people have come out to help help and, uh, and make our lives really easy while we're here. Sure, and before you go on, Guljan asks, what are you studying? What's your uh, major? I'm studying computer science. Mm -hmm. And is it, uh, and what do you study? Sociology. Is it hard to uh, study sociology and compete in curling at the same time? I Google wants to know. Yeah. Uh, you know, you gotta, you gotta find the balance between their schoolwork and competing and making sure you're ready for these competitions. It can be hard sometimes. Well, yeah, and thanks to the beautiful Almaty, we really love being here. And 7 p.m., Almaty Arena, come watch us tonight against Sweden and take a picture with us after the game. Get there, be loud, cheer us on. All right, guys, that'll wrap it up. Once again, let's uh, say a big thank you to the USA team curlers, the curling team. Uh, really exciting to, uh, excited to see them tonight. Uh, the curling squad is uh, in action at University at 2017. Thanks to Starbucks for hosting. Uh, you guys are great, and again, we'll be doing this every day. Um, thank you for your patience as we had technical difficulties at the start. Um, it's uh, Facebook Live. Anything can happen. We'll see you uh, guys again tomorrow at o'clock noon uh, for some more University of 2017 interviews with Team USA, USA Team. Go, go, go. All right. Thanks, guys.